Hello everybody, my name is Brian. Um, some of my gaming viewers might know me as Purple Grizzly. A few of my friends, some real life friends, some online friends, whatever you want to call it, all my friends feel like I should make vlog style videos, ranting about something, telling what's on my mind, just doing something different. I guess the first thing I'm going to talk about um, is old people. Just excuse me, I don't, I don't want to be rude, I don't want to offend anybody. I don't, elderly people. It's the people that are gonna die soon. I'm a terrible person. I, I, I have this internal problem with with old people. I, I don't know what it is. I, I mean there's some old people out there that are freaking awesome. I love them. They're like the kindest people ever. The coolest people ever. The people that I, I want to sit down and I want to learn from. But there are some there's some old people out there that literally they're gonna be the death of me. Ah! There's a million, million different reasons why I think old people are going to be the death of me. One is driving on the road. Old people are scary behind the wheel. They will put the fear of God in you. Let me tell you a few stories. Now, I'm a very good driver. I've seen all... I've seen the first five Fast and the Furious movies, so I'm a pretty good driver, you guys. <laughs> but my first car wreck, I was in the passenger seat. My car was turned off in the parking lot. I am in a convenience store parking lot. My car is turned off. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with my hands. <laughs> I look over. I see. I see like an old Lincoln car, like an old person car, is uh, is gonna pull in the parking space next to uh, next to my car. And instead of slowing down, no, this dude speeds up and like scrapes the whole side of my driver's side of my car and so like it catches the very front like bumper of my car and it like rips the whole front off with it what the f crazy part is is like this isn't just like a flat parking lot like I'm on the edge like the front of my car and the front of the parking spaces are on the edge of a hill so he like goes up and over the hill and like goes down his whole car like turns sideways so the first reaction, number one, I was like, oh god, this dude just hit my car, but I need to see if this guy's okay. Because obviously if he, you know, he can't park his car and he's old, and his car went over a hill, he's probably not going to be okay. But he was, he was okay, so like, he gets out of his car, and some other people who saw it got there before I did, and they're helping him up the hill, and he like, once he gets up where it's flat, like he can't walk, like he's having problems with his feet, like he's hopping around and stuff. I don't know. Like, I don't know why he was driving. Like, apparently, like, he got his license taken away or something like that. It could have been avoided, but my car's fine now, and he's okay. We're good friends. No. If you're driving down the road and a car is going, like, reasonably below the speed limit, like, I don't mind if cars are going, you know, five miles an hour under the speed limit. It's kind of annoying sometimes, but it's understandable. Maybe even 10. If a car is going like 15 miles an hour under the speed limit in front of you, it's just like, you're like, oh, I wonder what kind of person this is. You go up alongside him, it's an old person. So here's something that has happened multiple times, and I'm so lucky to not be dead right now. I've been, I've driven down like a street or a road, wherever I am, going like, a reasonable amount of speed, like 40 miles an hour, like a car will like cut me off, like pull out right in front of me. It's an old person, I can see them, and it's like, this is the look on their face. So I get to see their side view, and they're like this. And they just stop. They just stop there, and I have to swerve around them. Thank God for Need for Speed. I feel like that game has helped me, like, and that, like, Grand Theft Auto car driving, like, are you kidding me? I'd be dead if I didn't have those video games, like, when I was eight years old. So, some of you guys may know this, but I work in a movie theater. Here's, here's a walk through my world when I'm helping an elderly person at my work. If you're selling tickets, they will walk up to you, and they will, they will hand you money. And it's like, number one. They don't tell you what movie they want to see, and, you're, and you'll be like, oh, what show would you like to see? They don't know the title of the movie. And I can understand elderly people sometimes have a hard time uh, with, with their memory and remembering things. The commonness of, of elderly people forgetting the movie titles is, is very scientific to me. Like, I am taking down information and statistics, and it's insane. You guys should see my notebook. I look like a serial killer. So if I'm working the snack bar, this is where things get way complicated. They will walk up to the counter, do the same thing. And, okay, 
here's a perfect example. Here is, uh, I feel like elderly people think young people can read minds. I will be working in a snack bar, and I had my manager on my left. He's on the register. I'm on his right, you know, kind of being his wingman, getting drinks, whatever I need to get over here, over here. So lady, she walks up, she's like, I would like a large Coke. And so we're like, oh, okay. So he's like, large Coke. And so I get a large cup, fill it up with ice, do it on the soda fountain. It's filled up all the way. And she's like, no, 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 no. I want a medium Coke. I dump the cup out. I dump it out. I get a medium sized cup. I fill it up with ice and I put it on the soda fountain. It fills up all the way. I swear to God, she like looks at me and like looks at him and she like leans over the counter. That's Diet Coke, right? No. You said Coke. You didn't say Diet Coke. So, I dump that out. I fill up the cup with ice again. I fill up a Diet Coke. And she looks at me again. You put extra ice in there, right? No, I didn't. Because she didn't ask for it. So, I dump that cup out. Fill it up with ice. Extra ice, excuse me. Fill it up with extra ice. Got her her Diet Coke. And uh, she went on her way. But after the second thing, I went from annoyed to utterly amused because I wanted to see how far we can get this going. I honestly think old people are going to kill me someday, whether it's on the road, whether it's giving me a stroke. And they always seem so angry and so disappointed. Like, I just don't understand why they can't be happy. Why can't old people? I feel like when I'm when I'm older, I don't know, like, here's my perspective now, I'm 20 years old, and when I'm older, I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, I wanna be that cool old guy, I wanna be that, ugh, I wanna be, I wanna, I'm gonna build a mini ramp, and let my, let my neighbor kids skateboard on my front lawn, I'm gonna build a mini ramp for them, that's gonna be the old person I'm gonna be, but, if I'm like, like, 50 years from now, I might, like, be so angry with my life, I want to kill somebody while I'm driving my car. If you guys enjoyed the video, just leave a like rating. It really helps me out, helps my channel out. Share this video with your friends if you'd like. And uh, I will talk to you guys later. Have a nice day.